The voting feature on the next blockchain allows for the creation of polls where votes are cast and counted in a decentralized manner, while being cryptographically secured by the blockchain, thus making the process a lot safer for voters and cheaper for poll creators. Let's take a look at an example. The town of Serenity is about to have their mayoral election. Their current mayor, Nathan, is seeking re-election, while his opponent, Gina, is seeking to be the next mayor. In Serenity, election fraud has become a big concern lately. In the last election, it was found that Saffron, Nathan's opponent, attempted to cheat by modifying the votes after they were cast by bribing those who were counting the votes. The citizens of Serenity have demanded that the upcoming election use a more secure system to make attempts at fraud much more difficult. Adam, a political activist, recommends the use of the voting feature on the next blockchain and demonstrates how it can secure their elections. Kaylee, the town treasurer, is also interested as the cost for running the election is significantly reduced. Nathan and Gina agree and the elections proceed accordingly. Each citizen of Serenity then creates an account generated by a passphrase that they create and then submits their account number into a box after verifying their identity with Simon, an electoral official. Meanwhile, his sister Cameron, also an electoral official, creates the VOTE asset with a limit of the amount of people registered to vote. Cameron collects the account numbers from the box and sends out one VOTE asset to each of the registered voters before the polls open, in addition to one NXT to pay for the transaction fee. Simon then creates a poll on the blockchain that's restricted to VOTE holders with the weight of one vote per account. The voting booths soon open and Morena, a citizen of Serenity, is the first to arrive and accesses the poll that Cameron created and votes for Nathan. Ron, an aging war hero of Serenity, votes from the comfort of his own home by accessing the polls with his passphrase and casts a vote for Gina. After the deadline is reached, it is revealed by the results that Nathan has won and will be the mayor for another term. Gina is displeased with this and accusations of fraud come from her supporters. Alan, her husband, urges her supporters to remain calm and verify the results themselves by checking the blockchain to verify that their vote was what they had entered. Meanwhile, Ron, a close friend of Nathan, is relieved to know that even if the blockchain is auditable, no one will ever find out that he voted against his close friend. Though unsatisfied with the results, Gina's supporters acknowledge that Nathan has won and accept him as their mayor for another term. The creation of this video was coordinated by the Next Foundation, a nonprofit organization that promotes the use of Next and Arter blockchain technology. For more information, please visit nextfoundation.io. Thanks for watching.